Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. On this video, I'm going to present to you my Hyperland install script with lots of improvements. The key changes are animations on installation, so you can easily see if any issues during installation. Installation questions are now asked at the beginning of the installation part. Enhanced preset function, which I applied to all of Cool's Hyperland's installation script. New SDM team with a choice whether to use wallpaper as SDM background. Automatic detection of NVIDIA DPU if you have, but with a choice of whether to configure it for you. For Arch Linux, will automatically detect if you have Paro or Ye installed and you won't be asked to install if you already have it in your system. And of course, continuous improvement and bug fixes on cool Hyperland dots and many more. Now in this particular video, I'll be demonstrating the installation in Arch Linux, but the structure on other distros will be same. First thing of course, you need to install Git in your system and run a full system update. If you have a big update like kernel, make sure to reboot your system first. Once you're back, you can clone the repo, change directory into it, run chmod plus x install.sh, and then run that backslash install.sh. On other distros, you can simply just change this to Fedora or OpenSUSE or Debian and Ubuntu. For Ubuntu, you need to add the branch and you really need to make sure you add the proper branch. Instruction of this is on the Redmi. As usual, you will be asked with yes or no questions, with why or no questions. If you already have GDM or already using GDM as your login manager and want to use SDDM, I highly suggest to install it first. This is especially in particular to Debian and Ubuntu as it causes lots of issues during installation. Don't worry, GDM is fully compatible with Hyperland, so you don't really need to use SDDM for it. After you answer the questions, script will automatically install and of course at some point, the script will ask your password. Another way of using this script is utilizing the preset and NVIDIA function. Edit first preset.sh file and you can input your answers in there. Please make sure to input only Y for yes and no and N for no. Save and close and then use the preset function and then you can just type that backslash install.sh dash dash press it. You will still be asked if you want to proceed, of course. If you have NVIDIA, you can simply just add dash dash NVIDIA into it. During my test, the animation on other distros are kind of weird. On Ubuntu with GNOME, it has a nice, bigger and better looking animations. And on Fedora, and on Fedora server type, it kind of looks like a diagonal, not surround so looking animations. Regarding animation, this is only limited to packages installed by a package manager. I will still need to figure out how to add animations to the packages that needs to be manually compiled like the AGS overview. And speaking of AGS overview, you can find the link of demo on the readme and I will also add the link on the description. Now depending on your system and internet connection, the installation may take at least 10 minutes or less, or perhaps even more if you have a slower internet connection. When you are in cool Hyperland installation part, you will be again asked various questions. This is to confirm whether you have a high resolutions, whether you want NeoVim or Vim as your default 
editor, etc., etc. Script is designed to check for essential packages needed to run Cool's Hyperland configuration, and you will be informed on which packages failed to install. And of course, I highly suggest you to reboot your system in order to avoid any issues. If you have opted for SDM and SDM team, you will be greeted with this nice SDM team made by Min Melody. So shout out to you for providing this beautiful SDM team. To log into Hyperland, simply click or press enter. And on the lower left part, choose the Hyperland only and not the USM manage because you will not be able to log in with that. As usual, if you are new to cool Hyperland Dots, you can simply just click the hint button on Waybar or press Super H or search the keybinds with Super Shift K and you can use Rofi to search for keybinds. Another new feature of this script is the ability to set the wallpaper as SDM background. There is one small bug though. At the moment, you have to select twice and wait for the terminal to pop up and type in your password. This is because the wallpaper needs to be copied into SDM directory. So if you have a so if you have a fix, feel free to submit an MR to my GitHub. One particular addition to this version is the Hyperland animation menu. You can choose and apply animations to your liking. These animations may not be fully compatible with Debian and Ubuntu as Hyperland on those distros are of, of, are of old version. If you encounter any incompatibilities, please report the issue on my GitHub so I can adjust the settings. A shout out of course to N4, Prasantangan, and ML, uh, my Linux for work, Stepan, for this. And yeah, I copied some of your animations. I would also want to show you the upcoming changes or plan cools Hyperland Dots. I have been playing around with Rofi and I figure out how to integrate or use the Rofi team selector. I would need to do some adjustments, so I would need some time to figure it out. But of course, I will be releasing to public once it is fully ready. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like and share. If you have any questions or concerns or even an improvement, please leave a comment down below or file an issue on GitHub or join and discuss and let's discuss on my Discord server. I am mostly active on Discord. Anyway, this is it for now. Until next time, take good care guys and have a nice day. Bye.